Have you ever wondered why your shoulder patients have a disturbed scapulohumeral rhythm? Why their patients' shoulders elevate when they go into an arm flexion or abduction? Well, we think it's the upper trapezius hypertonicity. No, it's actually the levator scapulae, as the name suggests, which elevates your scapula, gets hypertonic. So instead of focusing too much on the upper trapezius stretching or soft tissue, we need to work on the dry needling technique for levator scapulae. You can work on the soft tissue or you can perform the dry needling as shown in this particular video. We sanitize the particular area. We go at an oblique angle to identify the superior angle of the scapula and then we insert the needle around 40 mm. You can use 25 mm but try not to use the needle beyond 40 mm. Please make sure you have an official training in dry needling before applying these dry needling techniques on any muscle. To learn more, come with iSOMT to learn about the full body dry needling in our online as well as hands-on training course. Thank you.